Okay, so it's a couple of days later now since I did the photographs, but here's a few things to show on video that you may not see on many cars. Firstly, when you unlock the car, on you have the automatic electronic side step. So these pop out whenever you unlock the car, if you saw it down there, and they'll go away again uh, in a little while. Uh, they'll stay out whilst the doors are open, or they come out again when the doors open. I lock it, give them a second, they'll, they'll wind back inside. There you go. So they don't get in the way most of the time. Both sides, of course. The other thing that's quite unusual is it has cameras in very funny places. Now, there's a pair of cameras here. I'm going to zoom in on the front bumper. Now, they look like parking, parking sensors, but they're not. They are cameras. And when you stick the nose out of a junction, you can see through those cameras and see what's coming left and right um, without actually having to put your nose out into a dangerous position, which I shall now try and demonstrate. So here we are now pulling out the drive. There is no visibility right or left even though my nose is actually uh, at the limit of the driveway but if i look at the front cameras i can actually see a view left and a view right uh, down the road even without sticking my nose out too far because it's looking through the cameras that are actually on the front bumper pointing sideways and i'll wait for a car to come and you'll hopefully see it traverse the screen there we go car came car went even so, even this position, from here, I've got no visibility at all, but that's what the cameras sticking out the front bumper can see. A view left and right. So that's the bumper mounted cameras. The other trick it's got is the curved view, and it has cameras in both the door mirrors. And so this is the view looking down from both the door mirrors. It gives the effect that the car is very thin but actually it's the left side and the right side. If I move the wheels, if I move the wheels for parking, you can actually see where your car is relative to the curves. A bit of material here on the gravel, but if you're in a narrow multi-story car park, trying to squeeze between the sharp curves, it's a very good way of getting your car through there without digging the wheels. Again, as I get out, you'll see the steps appear, which are very, very useful for trying to get in and out if you can't get the door very far open. And whilst we're here with the door open, I'm just gonna start it up so you can hear the noise it makes. It's the standard exhaust, it's nothing's flashy, uh, but it does make a lovely noise and it's not too loud, but it does sound like a proper V8. There you go, cracking that. So we'll have a quick whiz round it. Um, many other features you'll see in other cars but the cameras are sweet the automatic side steps are lovely um, it has the electrically deployable tow bar which i'll come back to in a moment uh, it's just a general view of the situation the state it's in one owner for me from scratch ninety-two thousand pound from new um, and yours and the bargain price is listed at so this is the electrically deployable tow bar been out for a few months, it's uh, trying to put it away. Just got to switch it on here, press the retract button, and then push it over away. Like that, and then put the cover on. You can't do now. So that's the result with the tow bar cover fitted. Uh, lock and unlock with touch on the button. And um, self-closing doors, of course. If you close it gently, 